Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace in God's holy church be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, we are gathered here for the blessing of these new church windows. Let us take part in this celebration with reverence and in the spirit of devotion. Let us pray fervently to the Lord that all who enter this church, in order to hear the word of God and celebrate the sacraments, may see the light of Christ. For it is Christ who came to us as the true window that allows us here on earth a glimpse of eternal life. Let us pray. O oh God, you have honored your people with the dignity of being called your church. Grant that this assembly of your faithful may, rever may revere and love you. And with you, as their leader, reach the promised rewards of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so now, my brothers and sisters, we are happily gathered here to bless these new church windows. Let us then lift our voices to pray that God will draw near to us with his grace. Lord Jesus, light of the world, illumine our world and scatter the darkness of doubt and sin with the knowledge of your love. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, you stand at the door and knock with the lantern of hope. Enable us to open up for you to enter, the, enter and dispel the darkness of despair in our lives. For this we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer. Lord Jesus, you give sight to the blind and you never cast out those who come to you. Welcome all sinners into your Father's house. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in this world we see you only partially, as if through a glassy glass darkly. Grant us the faith to see you more clearly acting in our world today. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May these illuminated windows illustrate for us the experience of faith in ecclesial life, that we see the church as she truly is, flooded with grace, resplendent in beauty, adorned by the manifold gifts of the Spirit. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <coughs> May each of us who live the life of grace within the church's communion help to draw all people into this mystery of life through a new evangelization of our society. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. We praise you, Father, all-powerful in this holy season of Advent. The people who walked in darkness have seen the great light of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So we ask your blessing upon the people of this parish as we bless these new windows. During the daytime, may they allow your light to illumine the darkness within, and when lighted at night, they may serve as beacons to guide your people to your doors. May the images they depict remind us of your promise always to guide and protect your church through her shepherds, our Pope, and myself, your unworthy servant, the Bishop. And may the elements of these crests remind us of the spiritual realities they depict. Pope Francis' role as successor of Peter, my own role as bishop as successor of the apostles of the church and our diocese of Brooklyn and Queens. May all those who enter and leave this holy place throughout the day pray for we who are shepherds. And grant that those who enter this church with confident faith in Christ may persevere in the teaching of the apostles and the breaking of the bread in an unceasing prayer, and so to come to the perfect vision of the heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now enter the courts of the Lord to celebrate the Holy Mass in union with the angels and all the saints. 